What's cracking, Pack Squad? Cracking Packs MTG here with what we've all been waiting for Core 2021 Collector Booster Boxes. We're going to do two of these right now. The first one, we're going to do a little bit of uh, brother action. And you can see I busted out the Ugin Bolus Playmat in honor of Ugin himself or Eugene, if you're nasty. So let's get this thing opened up and see what kind of spicy pulls wait for us inside. And I'm going to tell you what, these silver packs really pop. Let me shuffle these up at least a little bit. Some randomization for Nick and Derek here. All right, then I'm going to offer a cut. And then we're going to divvy these packs up. Now, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave me a comment, and you're entered in the giveaways that we do every Friday. If you're looking for some Core 21 or yourself, there's some Amazon links in the description. Collector boosters are just slightly over $200 right now on Amazon, plus tax, of course. But you can grab some there. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do all of them next first, then we're going to move over to the Derek. And I'm pumped. Here we go. I don't even know how these are laid out. All right, we have our token. Looks like we have our pretty standard so far. We have our foil commons and uncommons. Of course, we got our shrines back. They're not Hondans, but they're shrines. Here we go. There's our showcase land. And a full art temple of mystery to start things out with. A foil rata. A see the truth. A showcase magmut. Gorehorn, I think this is the most common card. Showcase Ugin the Spirit Dragon. First pack. Look at that. And I really like how they've distinguished it with the round hollow foil instead of the oval one. Wow. With a foil magmut and a standard bear. Not too shabby. Man, but I can't believe. First pack. Eugene made an appearance. It must be the play mat. It has to be. So good start for Nick. All right, we have our commons and tokens. We have our showcase lands. I don't care what anybody says. I think these blow the Theros full arts out of the water. Full art Azusa. What? Man, these are spicy. A goblin, a tome, a little bit of showcase cat action, doubling up on the Basri cards, and a full art scavenging ooze. To be honest, I really love this guy. What? Holy smokes! A box topper, Garuk Unleashed. Look at that foiling. So, what? I was, I'll be honest with you, I thought the Ikoria packs were going to be hard to top, but if, it, if this trend continues, I think they might, they might be better. Of course, that's all relative. Beautiful Forest. Necromania. Wow. Like, this isn't the best card to hit in box topper form, but that is flipping sick. Look at that background. That's a 10 out of 10 right there, just off of cool, cool Factor alone. Incinerator. At first glance, this guy looks like it's terrible, but then if you read it, it actually it's actually pretty decent. And a Liliana Steward. Okay. This pack was a little less spicy, but just art-wise, that card's... You know, I'd, I'd frame that. Or at least put it in one of those fancy, thick acrylic top loaders with the screws that are supposed to pinch your cards. You know the ones I'm talking about. The one you put your 1989 Upper Deck King Griffey Jr. in. You know. Showcase Mountain. Mangara, the Diplomat. Now this is what's got me shook. For all these years, 
I thought Mangara was a chick. And I'm I I, I was wrong. Stormwing, standard bear, another Gorehorn, a little bit of Chandra action, and a containment priest. This card used to be really expensive when it was only in Commander, but then the Ultimate Master reprint, and now this one, has really hurt it. But, big butt, that's a gorgeous card. It looks like we've got something in the back here, too. A Box Topper Scavenging News! What? So what is that now? That That's four packs, and do we have a box topper in every single pack? Is that how this works? I don't know. I'm going to have a mono blue deck with all of these. <laughs> Love this arc. Who is it? All right, not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. Liliana Stewart, Teferi's protege, a Teferi master of time. This may be the greatest box ever opened. And, and what? And a full art foil cultivate. What is going on here? This is absolute mad lad. Holy smokes. And a foil incinerator. What is what is even happening? Is this is this real life? Who else would be okay if they made like made these like ten card packs and didn't even include these first ones? If they'd say, instead of these being so expensive, we're going to knock the price down a little bit and you're not going to get any of the any of the chaff. I'd be okay with that. Masticore? I think this guy, I don't I don't know where what people's opinion on this guy is, but I think he might be a sleeper. I think he's going to do a, uh, he's going to do a lot of work. <laughs> Box Topper Shacklegeist? What in the world? A foil Elder Gargadoth Mythic? What is Bashery's Lieutenant, Foil Protege, and just a Magma? Well, Nick, that was pure insanity. Derek, I hope it works out as well as it did for Nick, for you. If it does, my eyeballs may fall out of my head. So we're about to find out. What's it going to happen? We have a Plains. We got an animal sanctuary. We got a few little oxen or buffalo, snakes, some birds. Are those birds of paradise? I think they are. Little billy goat and a couple of kitty cats. Salvo, temple, steward, magmut, showcase, heart of fire. This card in foil is absolutely beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous. And we got a double group hit in the back here. The Showcase Harbinger, or Harbinger, and a Gorehorn. So first pack, good start. Not Ugin start, but still pretty, pretty heckin' strong. I am just, I'm psyched about this. I'm, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed. We have Malefic Scythe. We got a Plains. Idol of Endurance, Full Art, Double Vision Box Topper, another Foil Temple. This is the Foil Temple side. Cultivate, we will take it. Insight, Acolyte, and Tutelage. All right. I have a bad feeling that left side was the uh, was the good side. I hope these last four packs prove me wrong. Showcase Mountain, Pilfer, Box Topper, Chromatic Ori. How are these boxes so good? This 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 card feels really feels like it's a. Uh, it came out of Fifth Dawn to me. Does anybody else agree? Uh, what? How do you get two 
two box toppers in the same pack in a row. I'm calling shenanigans. They, they had to hand pack this box. And that's all there. I mean... Island, Salvo, Foil, Mythic, Terror of the Peaks. This guy, I, I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of him. A Foil Heroic Intervention with it, Terror of the Peaks. Solemn Samalacrum, Sad Robot, Full Art. We're going to see a ton of him. We got a Lily Steward. And a box topper massacre worm. Are you for real? Woo! What is even going on here? I need more of these boxes. Give me all the boxes. Showcase Forest. Niambi. Esteemed speaker, say what you will about these temples, but that is a good looking card. Incinerator, we've seen a lot of that incinerator. A non foil massacre worm. Derek, I hope you needed massacre worms with a double grook in the back again. Last pack for Derek. So hoping for one more big pull. Red. My halo. A pilfer box topper. Well, Masticore. Tutelage. Acolyte. Harbinger. Protege. And an Acolyte. Not nearly as spicy as Nick Stack, but nothing to sneeze at. That was very, very nice. I would, uh, I'd be happy opening that anytime. So let me put these cards away right quick, and I will be back with us. I just want to get everything situated so we can go on to the second box without too much fanfare. And we'll take a short intermission because we're getting a lot of box toppers. And... What I'm kind of wanting to do is I'm wanting to compare it to the old box toppers. So what I got right here, if you guys remember these, this is the original box topper that came out of Ultimate Masters. So we just opened, I don't know, what, 5, 6, 10, 50, 11 box toppers or box topper style cards out of that. So let's compare it to the original and see how we do. All right, Kozlik, Butcher of Truth, Box Topper. That's not too shabby. So this is where it all started. This is where the premium, fanatic, whatever we've got going on right now, started. Very nice, Kozlik. Set this over the side. Let me get set up for this next one. Please bear with me. Sorry about the clunky video, but it is what it is. All right, we got Mark down for two. We have James down for two. Alex just going to do one pack. Jason M is down for three. Had to fix that there. Infinite Card Games. He's another YouTuber if you like to see pack openings. And then we got Nick. W, this is another Nick, not the same one from the first one, but they both have their names as Nick W. But either way, this is Nick number two, or number one. He's just another Nick. Alright, let me catch my breath. I don't know if I can handle much more excitement like that. This box is as good as, good as that first one. I'm going to blow a gasket. Alright, shuffle up and deal.
do a final cut. All right, I don't know where that ended up, but we will see. Nick gets two. Infinite Card Games, aka Alex, gets two. Jason M gets three. Alec gets one. Maybe it's a spicy one. James is two, and Mark is two. So let's start up here at the top with Nick. The best of luck to you. And if you guys want to get in, if you're wondering how these guys get in on these, I've got a Facebook group. It's called Crack Packs MTG, just like my YouTube channel. And we do all kinds of cool stuff there. It's discussion. We do trades. Um, you know, you can get in on these breaks with me. He gets a full art kitty cat. He gets the goodest boy in foil. A foil Chandra Heart of Fire non-showcase. Still good. The Gorehorn again. Showcase Oogie, first pack, just like last time. Holy potatoes. And another double Garouk. Last two cards. This last slot feels a lot like Theros's uh, last two card slot with the demigods. I feel like that's already been said by somebody before, but it really does. It feels that way. Soldier, I'm gonna dub on you. Island. Let's get to our showcase. We got a mountain. Full art fable passage. This card, there's a ton of those these out here, but we will always take a full art. We got a box topper pressure, per, or sorry, pursued whale. What is happening in these packs? Fable Passage, Full Art, Pursued Well, Full Art Foil, Terror of the Peaks, Full Art Foil. If this pack gets any spicier, I'm going to need some Rolades. But yeah, look at that. I mean, double, double Devotee, Uncommon Showcase at the back. Feels a lot like, uh, like the Theros Collectors there. All right, Nick, not too bad, man. That was pretty, pretty, pretty sick. All right, Infinite Card Games. You can go check him out on YouTube. If you'd like, we got a little bird. Let's get through these commons and get to the showcase land. I'm, ex I'm pumped about this. We got a full art temple. We got a box topper ruined halo with a really creepy Kithkin chick. We got a double ruined halo. It's like a double rainbow, but it's a double halo. And a pyrling. Okay. Nothing too insane there. But a good solid pack nonetheless. Beautiful. Salvo. Weaver. Foil Fable Passage. Cultivate. Incinerator. And a Gorehorn. Okay. Good steady packs, nothing nothing to blow your mind, so. And if you'll notice that there's a three there in front of that, that actually was Jason's three. I had to write it in. That's my bad. All right, Jason, you've got three packs to go. Swamp showcase, beautiful. It looks more like purple mana. Temple of Triumph. Volcanic Salvo. Temp that was the temple pack. We do have something in the back. Is it a containment priest? Oh, it's a solemn. Heck yeah. Just a couple comments in the back. I'll never get tired of this card. It's so good. If you've never had the pleasure of playing with a Solemn Simulacrum, you've been missing out. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the new art, the Mirrodin art is my favorite. But just that card's ability. I wouldn't care if it was just blank. Swamp. Oh, we got something come a box stop. Not a box stopper. A full art Azusa. Honestly think I like the non-foils in this better. They seem to 
Whoa. Gadrick the Crown Scourge. This sounds like it would be a card out of Conspiracy. Foil Mythic Chromatic Ori. Man. Magma and just a Teferi's Protege to round out the back slots. They really, they, they could have loaded that back slot a little bit better, but that middle, the middle of these packs are just absolutely solid. Beautiful Island. A Brash Tonner. I had 11 dirts. What do we, ha what do we have here? Necromentia. That's beautiful though. Wow. That is insanity. How good that card looks. Liliana Stewart. Masker Worm Full Art. You will take it. And a double Kitty Cat Acolytes. All right, Jason, you didn't do too bad. That's pretty, pretty decent. Alec is up with his one pack. Let's wish him the best of luck. I don't know if you need a ton of luck with these packs because it seems like they are all pretty, pretty good. Got a Swamp. A Mant Masticore. A Niambi, the esteemed. I've noticed the price of this card has jumped, especially in the full art version. There must be a deck that she's she's in. A Sanctum of All. Chandra Heart of Fire Showcase. I was worried about this pack till she showed up. And then we got a Uprising Showcase and a Incinerator Showcase. I really like how they have that moon and the mountains in the back. It just adds a little bit of depth to the card. So pretty, pretty solid pack. We're still waiting to see our full art foil or showcase foil. Ugin. We haven't seen a Grim Tutor yet, so that still eludes us. So James is up and he says, well, let's see if we can change that. Planes, idle. Caravec, the Spiteful, Discontinuity, Foil, Mythic, get the uh, get the correct rarity out there, I was kind of stumped for a second, I was looking at how shiny that uh, Hourglass was, that is just, I think this card's really, really good, we have something in the back, it looks like a Containment Priest, it is, oh, we got something else in the back here too, what is it going to be, whoa, Hold the phone. Did I just call that? I said we hadn't got a, a Grim Tutor yet. And I'm, James said he's going to see if he can change it. We get the absolute best one we could have gotten. Whoo, man. These boxes are nutty. I just, I don't know what to say. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go buy more. That's, that is all. Necromania, that in foil, is, we just saw it a minute ago, is really nice. A weaver, I don't think it really matters what is in this pack after, just a, just a full art Teferi, that's all. Box Hopper Grim Tutor, full art Teferi, a Grooks Gorehorn, and a Liliana Standard Bear. Well, James, I'm glad this worked out well for you. I think that's the first time I've gotten you some pretty good pulls, so I am over the moon about that. Mark almost missed this. He uh, he messaged me at the last second before I was going to replace his spot with somebody else, so I'm glad he made it in. This is the first time he's getting to participate, so welcome to the channel. Showcase Mountain, Pilferer. Baron Talarian Archmage. I feel like we're going to see this guy. He's going to be pesky. A Caravunner. We got something back here. What's it going to be? We got a Scavenging Ooze. Full art. Love this card. But. Teferi's Protection. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get ready. Let's get ready. What's it going to be? Oh, man. Look at that Chandra Heart of Fire. Full art mythic. 
I didn't honestly didn't know if this box had any legs left, if it had any 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 good hits left, but it has proved me wrong. Look at how her hair lights up. I mean, that card looks like it's actually on fire. All right, Mark, I'm glad we got you something really, really spicy. This is the last pack. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. That way you can make a comment, like the video, and you're in the drawing for some cool stuff every Friday. Mountain. Diplomat. Sanctuary. Idol. All right, this pack has slowed down a little bit. Is there a last hit? Nope, it's just a double acolyte. At least we got Chandra Heart of Fire for him. This has been a ton of fun, guys. Um, I'm glad you joined me. All you guys make this possible. The guys in the Facebook group make it possible for us to open so much cool stuff. So I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart that allows me to do this because it's just, it's a passion of mine and I'm just grateful I get to do it for you guys. And we'll see you next time. We're going to be opening a lot of this, I think, because it's, it's so good. But uh, you guys have a good night. Bye.